<laughs> Do you press it now, buddy? Done. Yeah. So if you've just joined us on this blab, this is uh, the Berlin Marathon. We've got our man on the ground there, Franek Fartlek. <laughs> A great name. Um, he's going to be interviewing the, um, the best Australian over the line, which was uh, Michael Shelley. And hopefully you get Scott Westcott. You've got Robbo, who's uh, part of it. Steve Monner Getty, former winner of the race in 1990. And, uh, here he is. Oh, there he is. Here he is. Oh, Woo. Hey. Hey, hey, how are you going? Going well, mate. Well, well done. done. You're... Tell us about your run, buddy. Uh, yeah, tough. Just toughed out the office, got through halfway pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, the when the old marathon starts at 35k, it just just happened to be that the day that it started pretty pretty heavy in the legs. And oh, well, it is what it is. Um, hopefully, qualification, but you know we don't know. So hopefully, pretty soon find out and um, yeah, move forward, see what happens in the next six months or so. Yeah, good run, Michael. I, I think you should be still pretty happy about that. So, well done. Uh, we're talking about you. what will you do? Sit down with Dick and have a bit of a chat about maybe another marathon prior to Rio? Um, yeah, well, it depends on what the, the Olympic standards and all that sort of stuff is. So, mm -hmm. um, hopefully we'll find out pretty soon and then I'll sit down with Dick and um, discuss it as to what we do, whether we have a attempt at another one early in the year or... But yeah, as I said, wait to qualification. Maybe just wait till the Rio and see what happens. I guess if if I'm selected, if and when. I think when. I'm not sure about if, mate. I'm I'm sure your couple <laughs> runs will, will get you over the line, Commonwealth champion. But would be nice to know, give you the reassurance from AA that you're right, and then it allows you to plan as best as you and Dick decide. Yeah, well, that, that's yeah. Fingers crossed that we uh, you know, get some confirmation of the the standard that soon. So. Um, yeah, well, moving forward, hopefully find out in the next few weeks and then obviously sit down with Dick and discuss it after a, a bit of a break and just a recharge and just, yeah, hopefully plan something for next year. Hey, uh, Michael, it's uh, Mossy here. Berlin Marathon, hey, um, it's nice and scenic. What was uh, what were some of the parts of the course that you loved most? Um, oh, it was a great course. I loved every probably... This is going to sound funny, but it was a great course. Enjoyed everything up to about 35 kilometres, and then um, <laughs> and then the, the, old, the old marathon set in. So then it was just all try and focus on the left foot, right foot in front of you and get to the finish line as best as possibly could. Too true. And have you seen um, Scotty? Congratulating yeah, for just me. Saw, yeah, yeah, it was just around here just a minute ago. Um yeah, he ran at 2.15, so he's pretty excited. He should be. Yeah, it's a great yeah, run. We, Fantastic we, need, run. we need to get him on board. Um, Michael, if you can find Scotty, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, we will do. He's, oh, he, he's probably already ducked off for a beer. It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look like you've pulled up really well, Michael, so that's a good sign. You look like you've pulled up really well, mate. Um, yeah, it's, I've had a little bit of a sit-down, so probably walk walking-wise, I, I probably am, yeah, a little the legs are, are still are stiff and sore, but yeah, mentally I'm, I'm sort of I got through it pretty well. But yeah, it's just it's a little bit disappointing. But that's the that's the marathon, as you all as you all know. So you have good days and bad days, and yeah, you know, and the in between days. So probably today was one of those in between days, and yeah, just got to move forward and yeah, see what see what's next. Yeah, don't be so hard on yourself, mate. It's a great run. You should be delighted. Another another really, really top run, mate. So have a good German beer tonight. Chat yourself. Yeah, I'll, I'll, it's been a couple of months since I've had a beer, so we'll, I'm sure I'll have one or two tonight and um, have a think about it and yeah, move on to the next, next one. Good attitude. Good on you, mate. Beautiful. That's there, Michael Shelley, the uh, fastest Aussie uh, of the Berlin Marathon uh, today and also our reigning Commonwealth Games gold medalist on the finish line there um, at the Berlin Marathon. Um, and uh, Monas, I think we, have, have, we, have, we have three of them. We have three Commonwealth champions all on <laughs> screen. I think we just snuck, snuck one in there for you, Michael. 
There you go. <laughs> we've got the three of us, bottom of screen. I can't get Dave Power. I'm missing Dave, but we've got the other three. And, and I was actually there at the finish line, so that practically makes me the winner of uh, last year's Com Games in the marathon. Yeah. And we should also remember Lisa and, and, the, and Karen, of course, our female champions. So we've lost Robbo. Hopefully he'll be jumping on very shortly, get back in the game. He's, he uh, might, might have headed off to uh, grab a, a German beer. He lives now, Michael. Craft beer. Michael, Please. What, you do, will you do a little warm down or you walk it out? What do you do now for the next hour or so? People might be really interested. Um, try, and, uh, try and probably a little bit, of, have a little bit of food and then, yeah, as, probably walk back to the hotel. Um, it's not that far away. If, if there's a bus, I might take the bus. It's probably the option that I will take. Uh, it depends how the next 10 metres walking goes and then um, I'll decide then. Um, but then have a bit of food and, yeah, hopefully have the, you know, recovery beer or something like that um catch up with a few people discuss their stories of how they went today and um yeah that's that's probably my afternoon sorted yep and running the next couple of days and when you're flying home um i'm gonna have a little bit of a, a holiday around um germany over the next week or so and then head home next week and um celebrate my birthday next weekend and probably start um Start training again in probably two weeks. Okay, so no running for a couple of weeks? Yeah, no running for a couple of weeks. Just uh, mentally recharge and, um, yeah, then sit down with Dick probably in the next week or so and then a week or two and then discuss where to from there, hopefully. Um, yeah, we'll have some more information about the Olympics and, and then go from there. Sure. No, that's it. Sounds good. Right, well, right over and out. Thanks, you Michael. Just... Appreciate your time. It's that's a special insight. Having had you right on the finish line, I know it's a bit of an imposition, mate. But I'm sure, um, I'm sure we're delighted. Certainly having you. Congratulations again, mate. No worries, guys. Thanks for having me. And I'll, if I find Scotty, I'll, I'll, I'll try and get him on. Perfect. Yeah, Thanks, absolutely. buddy. Mate. Enjoy that right, then. beer. Thanks, Shelley. Oh, we'll See do, you, mate. Cheers, you guys. Legends. Thank you. Thank you so much, Johannes. What a champion. Very good. If you're, uh, okay. if you're able, if you're able to... For you. Give him some props, Perfect. Robbo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's Robbo going all crazy for us once again. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, that's a special insight, though, having Michael there, you know, 10, 15 minutes after finishing the Berlin Marathon, we're that's talking to the guy. Are. He's open, he's honest, he's transparent. Oh, that's just amazing. sensational. That's new age journalism there, boys. That... That's it. And it's uh, showing what technology can do. It's something that uh, <laughs> we're going to try to do uh, much more often for one of better uh, terminology there, especially during the uh, athletic season. This is a couple of months of madness when it comes to marathons and every marathon we're going to do the same thing. Uh, hopefully um, we can find um, Eurosport maybe picking up the marathons so we can actually uh, have that on and have our own form of commentary. So maybe not like we're in HD, but on the side you'll be able to uh, hear our version of the commentary, which would be more of an Australian one. So... Um, if we can just get you, Monas, to, um, you know, learn Deke's Fidipity story, which he tends to roll out every marathon, that would be great. <laughs> He's older than me. He probably met Fidipity's personally. <laughs> that is the funniest moment. Oh. There it is. We're coming back, baby. Number yeah. Deke. Deke, needs to get, Deke needs to get on Blab just for, to get his... Uh, yes, he will. Don't worry. He'll hear about that one. He'll be back. He'll be back instantly, I'm sure. Yeah. He's very good on social media. Got, he's actually he's got, got the I am project. Yeah, he, he's hot on on social media. I've got oh, no, I've got Kelly O'Sullivan, the market, the comms manager for Indigenous Marathon Foundation. She's all all over Blab, so we're going to get Deke on very shortly. Who we should mention? It's worth checking them out. Indig Mara Project. They uh, had their thirty k time for the trial out at Alice Springs today to finalise the squad that goes to New York yep. in uh, early November. So. Um, I believe they all got through and 
And would you believe one of the runners had one of these things on as well? So, and gonna, of course, you'll Robert... hear more about that. As we just see Robbo dropping out there, Robbo is a massive supporter of the um, of the cause there, the Indigenous Marathon Foundation, as am I. And Robbo is actually a an ambassador for the IMP, so you'll uh, see him out there with the singlets on and getting amongst it. Um, if anywhere nearby, the deadly fun runs soon, uh, soon, near your cool. location. Yeah, We've got to get one in Ballarat. And, uh, yep. <laughs> but, get a warrior uh, run down here on Father's Day. Yeah, That's absolutely, it. mate. That's right. Very good. In Ballarat, oh, around yeah. Lake Wendere, on the Steve Monaghetti track in Ballarat. In Ballarat, oh, you know, in Ballarat. You know, How am I going? I'm no, catching we're, up. <laughs> we're doing a um, podcast, Monas, and um, someone said sent a tweet in saying that they had been to um, doing a fart leg session, and uh, they said it was a Mona session, and uh, I just read it quickly, and I, I said a Mona. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so well, don't pretty... worry. We had a we had a horse. My dad um, had a trotter, and and it was um, she's a Mona. They were pronouncing oh. it. So, <laughs> not idea. so you're not alone there, my friend. Oh, I, I do tell it. the story that I used to my bed. I still go on a Tuesday night to round to mum and dad's house, and uh, and my bed. I was the youngest of the kids, so when I left, you know, they've kept my shrine there. And I went round one day. All my trophies were gone, and the horses' trophies were were in there because it was it was the best two year old in Australia. So me out, I was replaced by a horse. True yes. story. Oh, well, good thoroughbreds, both of you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes. Um, we're we're going to keep the line open here because if our man, Johannes, on the ground there can get Scotty Westcott, I mean, this is, this That'd is be a great a clue, opportunity. wouldn't it? So yeah. We don't want to miss that. The only thing I've failed to do, which I had one job and I had to do it, I even wrote it on a piece of paper. Do you know what it was? Might be able to see that there. Hit record. All right. So when you do these blabs, you can either choose to record them or not. We've got a red light going there now. That means it's recording. <laughs> For the first hour and a, and a half, I wasn't recording it. So uh, if the people from Blab are listening, I'm sure they can dig it up somehow. Right. So we'll Seriously, that was some do. of my best stuff that first hour. Now yeah, we're hopeless. Yeah, yeah. But that oh, first yeah. hour was extraordinary. Greatest it was. ever. It's a trap for young yeah. players, and it's twice now, Robbo. Three more, and you're out. One more, and you're out. <laughs> well, see, you guys are on your you guys are on your laptops, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. hidden away. It's hidden away. I'm on the I'm on the mobile here, and uh, it's hidden away. It's not as obvious. I think Blab is actually tailored more for the laptop or desktop usage. Mm -hmm. But um, I for, I'm trying. To, I'm in the garage, so I've got to get the 4G happening, and this this is the way I've got it set up. But anyway, excuses, excuses. That's um, right. We'll, we'll set them a task at Blab HQ and see if they can recover some of that gold because it was indeed uh, blabbing gold. You know, just like they're going to gold. Find That's right. Twitter are going to find my Twitter account and save me. That'd be good. We've got we've got all the we've got all the, the IT people on yeah. the job. Keep keep them keep them busy. That's right. I've got no followers, right. no so, friends on this new one. I've had to create for tonight. So anyway. Yeah. It's working well for us. You're yeah, audio yeah. only. It's even better because we don't have to look at Robbo. It's just audio only. It's fantastic. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm actually text <laughs> I'm te that happens I'm texting. I'm texting. I'm trying to do other things. <laughs> yeah. He's your busy Use your man. computer for that, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually texting Kurt Fernley. So he's just said he's home from dinner. Yeah. Uh, how the blab go? I said, mate, join in. Jump, jump on. It's going well. We've got a spare seat. So... We'll see how quickly Kurt Fernley can turn it around, but we'll we will just wait a little bit. I, I haven't heard back from our mate Mr. Futlek Gannis on the ground in in Berlin. He's <laughs> unfortunately gone off. I don't know whether uh, he's going to go chasing Scotty Westcott. We may not get it, but we'll keep it going for another little bit, and we'll see. We might even get Kurt Fernley on here. We've got Big TX Gravy. Welcome back. The, uh, a frequent Blab visitor, and great to have everyone who's still on board. Great to have you here, and if you're watching in the replay, well, fantastic work. Thanks to everyone that's shared and, and uh, told a little bird. That's right, sharing the stream on on Twitter. And here we go. That's genuine Berlin Marathon 1990 shirt. If you want that, no, it was, <laughs> it was in the man. roof. Where am I? Sorry, I'll get back. There you go. That's the real thing. 
There we go. And the wall. Can I get it all in here? Get it Beautiful. all. Piece of the wall. My Mercedes Benz. I did sell that. I kept it. I kept it for fifteen years. Oh, yeah. There we wow. go. And no news on uh, on Johnny Dutton. I'll get a message through to him, so I'll try and get an update. No, no message yet. So I'll have to wait. So hopefully John uh, John Dutton's got through the race and he's okay. Gee, we keep swapping screens. There we go. Lost there one. we go. I'll tell you what, it's great yeah. to uh, – yeah. I, I was look, I have to admit, mine, I was enjoying being on top of you, mate, but it's yeah. uh, <laughs> going to be beside you now. We're even. We'll call it a draw. Okay. Remember um, down at the Australian Running Convention, you actually – um, gave Robbo his life dream when you actually mounted him in the straight and cool <laughs> fit. <laughs> He's yeah. still talking about it. He's still talking about it. Uh, I'm, I reckon I, I could ride in the Melbourne Cup. So I thought we were on Caulfield Racecourse. It was the best we could do. It's the closest I'm ever going to get to um, to being uh, one of the runners, so to speak, around Caulfield Cup on the Caulfield Racecourse. So I thought we'd uh, make good use of our time there. Mate, you did well. That's for sure. That was a good back day. The winner. We it were, was a good day. The yeah. banter was was terrific. So great to see so many people enjoying running, and hopefully, if you, we've brought a bit of enjoyment along tonight in our coverage of Berlin Marathon, it's been special for me. I've really enjoyed it. So thanks for involving me, guys. No, that's all right, Monas. Any time, mate. We uh, appreciate your support of us as well. Sometimes we sort of have a little bit of a moment and pinch ourselves. The fact we get to uh, hang out with you guys, you Deke. Um, Kurt Fernley, the whole lot as well. And, and I guess our aim um, is to try to bring the running community together. And we've done that with the athletics, we believe, as well, um, to, first and foremost. And as we build our profile outside of the sport as well, is to try to bring um, yeah, more eyeballs and earballs as well to the sport. So, yeah, well, um, we're certainly if, doing that. If we can do that. And tonight's an example. I Please used to know. spend, seriously, I'd spend, you know, when Troopy was running something like a London or a, or a Berlin Marathon, I'd spend half the life running around trying to get updates. This has been fantastic for me because you guys are on to it, giving the, the people at home who we want to know, you know, how our, our friends and, and people who've worked so hard, how they're going. So it's been terrific for me to get those updates along the way rather than be, you know, I get nervous. I prance, I run around the house wondering what how our guys are going and this has been a terrific medium to get that uh, or media to get that uh, information across and hopefully the people out there have got onto it a bit earlier and we can increase the coverage of athletic marathon Athletic Australian athletics marathon running, distance running in general. So good on you guys. Yes, absolutely. We're just trying to get Robbo back on board. Uh, otherwise, we're going to have to uh, call it a day. He's drastically in the uh, the, the shed. For oh, he's in his garage uh, on four G. His, his kids are asleep. I've got to get out and put my kids to bed in the moment and have dinner. I'm trying to find. I've actually got a um, Berlin Marathon, a few postcards. from. It was my birthday when I was over there in 1990, and the guys got me a, um, a framed uh, postcard. I'll see if I can find it just while we're waiting for Robbo to get back. Just a, a great little uh, message. Thanks very much, uh, Ed, Chris, underscore. Uh, thanks for joining us, mate. Um, he says he just read on the Chicago Marathon website from Liam Adams, I'm not going to Chicago to run a Rio Olympics marathon qualifier. Um, I'm going to Chicago to run a massive PB and I'm in the shape to do so. Liam Adams, we we think you, you are going to be, um, if not Michael Shelley, it'll be you who runs the next 210. So uh, that's, um, that's an interesting one. Thanks very much. Um, uh, Ed to uh, providing us with that. Just wondering what you're uh, listening to. Mossy and Robbo's, um, our version of the Berlin Marathon. Uh, we've got Steve Monaghetti and Robbo's trying to jump in. We'll uh, see how he goes. Um, 
if you have got a question you want to ask of Steve Monaghetti, just um, where it says type something cool. Uh, if you are on the um, web version, on it'll be on your right-hand side. Uh, if you're on your mobile phone, on down below. And Steve Monaghetti bringing in a collage. Is that a collage? I think it be I believe it is, or a montage, as some people call it these days, the French, of uh, Berlin uh, postcards from the marathon. And there you see that uh, mighty arch. That's um, the, the Brandenburg Gate, rather, um, from Berlin Marathon, which is good. Look at that. That's a first. We've got a fly that it's just landed on my face. Fair dinkum, as I would say. Shoe fly don't bother me. Um, a fly just landed on my face. That's a, probably the first time ever on Blab. Mm. And uh, Monas, plenty more. I'm sure. Hey, mate, did you um, get the, the scoop that we just... Um, saw about Liam Adams. Were you listening there? No, I heard it, but I was I heard it from a distance. What was the story? Yeah. Okay, so the story is, and I, it's unconfirmed at this side, but if, Ed, you, Chris, you have a link, that'd be great. Oh, look at that. He just clicked up the link right there and then. Uh, on the Chicago uh, Marathon website, mm -hmm. there's um, a, a, a little bit of a thing from, I'm just going to bring it up, so just bear with me half a sec. Sure, mate. Uh, Liam... Adams, this is a quote. I'm not going to Chicago to run a Rio Olympics marathon qualifier. I'm going to Chicago to run a massive PB and I'm in the shape to do so. So that's great to hear that Liam is uh, backing himself uh, with it. Yep, fantastic. And I'm catching up with him later this week So uh, before he leaves. So I'll Back. certainly be... Um, be wishing him well and passing on um, Australia's best. He's, he's in great shape. He's obviously he's had a couple of marathons that have been very, very good. So um, we're expecting big things of, from him. And, you know, he's got to – he'd probably be looking at uh, Michael Shelley's run tonight and he'd be saying, okay, need to get under that 2.12.20 or even probably under, you know, 2.11.15. So there's a couple of realistic – um, times for him to work on. That's an, you know, PB for him. That's that's a good run. So we don't want to build it up too much, but let's hope he has a great run over there. And welcome back to Mr. Dave uh, Robbo on to the, the lab. That was close, boys. I thought I was gone for, for all money there. Big, big <laughs> shout out to John McClyman. He's uh, watching, been loyal, sticking with the, the stream all night. He's in Newcastle here as well. And as everyone else that's on, on board as well, it's great to have you here. I haven't missed the Scotty Westcott interview, I hope, boys. No, but I did get a message. I've just got a message from John Dutton. I couldn't keep any fluid in. Stopped for a leak at 18K and that never happens. Last hour was rough, just under 2.34 and cramping through the finish. So tough day at the office for John, but he's toughed it out and finished in uh, just under 2.34. So he'd be a little bit disappointed, but good on him for toughing it out and finishing. Easier to, sometimes to stop, but he's, um, he's, he's done the job and, and finished it. Berlin Marathon. So good on you, John. Yep, yep. Well done, indeed. And uh, look, it's been pretty special, boys. I think we might have to kiss goodbye the, the hopes of getting our interview with Scotty on the ground. But to get Michael Shelley <laughs> fresh after running, that's uh, that is insane. And we'll we'll get a copy of that out pretty shortly, um, and you'll see that around. But thanks again, everyone, for for tuning in. As Mossy said, we're, this is something we're going to do a lot of. It's only us and the uh, the four G that stands between us. Um, keeping this going or a decent Wi-Fi connection. I'm struggling to get it either at the moment in my garage, but we're, we're working on that. The 4G's kicked in here now. and uh, Look, it's all pretty new. We're, we're getting our way through it. Here we go. Monaghetti, 94. <laughs> I'm just opening my magazines. What I'm looking for Scotty Westcott. Put that put that one up of Scotty. We should. We should. It's only appropriate. We'll leave with uh, that picture of Scotty, I reckon. Yeah, I'll see if I've got one in the, in the inside. I might have cut it out. I'm trying to. If anyone can get over to Stockton, I actually have a 4G Wi Fi modem that Robbo might be able to use. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that might help out. Yeah, Thanks boys. to uh, Telstra. Yeah, there's man. Uh, okay. There's a man in action, the action shot. Our, our we hero actually, from today, Australian record for the 40 plus from Scotty Westcott, Westcott, 40 and two days. Good on you, Scotty. Great work. Well played Fine today. That's well sure. played. Fantastic. Thanks, guys. Appreciate your support of the sport. And I've enjoyed it. That's Scotty, fourth at, at Melbourne.
That's where he announced his retirement, I think, didn't he? That's right. Yeah, well, <laughs> we need to keep him running. I mean, what's wrong with that? 2 15 30 is good going, isn't it? So he shouldn't be retired. Not at all. Cla- closing, closing thought, Mono, if we do see Liam Adams uh, smoke a great PB next week in Chicago as, as he's talking it up, uh, if we can put Liam and Michael on the plane to Rio... Who are we gonna? Who's gonna get that third spot, mate? If you had to, crystal that's ball a, that right is now, a great question. Uh, wow, that is a good question. I don't even know. That's. Um, I think there'll be a couple of people that'll get inside the the um, the qualifying, and there's a window of opportunity to Rio. So, you know, who knows? Hopefully, another a young developing athlete would be great. I'm going to throw it out there, boys. Uh, I think I, it's going to be Craig Mottram. Yeah. Well, the word on the street, the whisper is he might be lining up. At Melbourne, is that right? Well, it's more than a whisper, I think. Yeah. So that. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I haven't heard if he's doing Melbourne, but um, yeah, I've certainly heard a few interviews. Run with Soul, great podcast, the Boys, have. which you've been on, uh, Mono. And yeah, I, I spoke to Craig fr- briefly at the, the Ron Clark Memorial. And um, down at the MCG, and I oh, had a little. Hey guys, I know Mon is so fantastic. I know Mon is you were looking so. to get out of here, but just um, an update on Facebook from Vlad Shatra. I've said bittersweet, loved to all around a three minute PB. There you go. Um, he says, you know, I missed two seventeen, but now, um, but a five year goal has been smashed. Um, words sometimes not enough to describe emotions. Thanks for all your help. Shelley ran tough. Scott Westcott is a true champion. There you go, and that. I'm so glad that he's happy. And awesome. whilst you know he's talking that two seventeen, a three minute PB, that is massive. And uh, he's, I'm so happy that uh, he he realises that's a great run. Fantastic, Vlad. Well done. Well done to all the Aussies today. Fingers crossed for Liam in Chicago, and certainly look forward to working with you guys again to bring a bit of good distance running. Um, interest, hopefully interest and uh, knowledge and stories along the way to, to the audience out there. Thanks, Mossy. Thanks, Robbo. No worries, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers. There you go. Steve Monaghetti, absolute out. champion of the sport. He's uh, leaving us, the mad professor. Fellow and, uh, Florida, yes. Australia. Thanks. Thanks, Mossy. did it. There's we'll three. Happy, happy See you, guys. Yeah. I'm just, no worries. I'm just going to uh, put down the bottom for everyone See who's ya. watching. You can go, Monas. It's okay, mate. Okay. Um, <laughs> the I'm next... I'll kick him off. I'll kick him off. The... Don't worry. See Cheers. Ya. See you, boys. Thanks, We're mate. Look just putting down there a uh, link to our next blab, which will be right. the Australian Hockey Show. Um, and that is, boom, you'll see that. There's the long version of it. Uh, if you can join us for that, we've got um, a kookaburra in Chris Cirello and also Emily Smith, who is a, a New South Wales girls from the Hockey Roos. They'll be on blab tonight from 9 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So uh, I know you might have, none of you might be uh, hockey fans, but look, jump on board, get to know a, another couple of sports. And, of course, it's one of our huge ones uh, when we get to uh, the Olympics. So uh, please um, jump into that. That's right. Mossy, great to have you on board again. We'll see you in an hour for the next blood. But thanks, guys, for supporting the cause. And we look, look, look forward to catching you. Chicago Marathon in a...